This week, in his State of the Union address, President Obama framed his proposed tax increases in terms of Americans being asked to pay their fair shares. Now, immediately, the claims and counterclaims started. Those opposed to President Obama's agenda said, look, the upper-income Americans already pay a wildly disproportionate percentage of taxes that are paid to the federal government. On the other hand, those who are supportive of the president say that the percentage of income, that the percentage of their own income paid by upper-income folks has been stable to decreasing in many cases over the past years. So while the net dollars in may be going up, in fact, they are paying the same or even less as a percentage of their own personal wealth in taxes. So that's never going to get agreed to, and each side piously carves out the piece of the truth that works for them. So let's go back to the original claim, which immediately invites us to ask again, what is fair? And who gets to decide that? And we all know that we're no more likely to come to national consensus on those two questions than are most of our children when they're in the midst of squabbling about what's fair to them and who gets to decide that. And you know what? It doesn't even really matter so much because the real issue when it comes to tax increases or almost anything else proposed by the federal government, whether you're in favor of it or opposed to it, it's not about fairness. It's about trust. The truth is, Americans give away tens of billions of dollars a year. We are fundamentally a generous and compassionate people. And yet 75% of Americans don't trust the federal government, either not always or not even mostly. I imagine that if more of us trusted the government, the conversation about what we should pay as our fair share to that government would be completely different. And so as often the case, the issue isn't about who pays what to whom. It's not even about what's fair. Here it really is who decides. When there is real trust in the deciders, we can go down the road with their decision, even if we don't completely agree. It happens in our own personal lives, and it happens in our nation. It would be so interesting over the coming months, rather than simply fighting about what's fair, what's not fair, if we really began to work together to rebuild trust in the federal government, and then from that vantage point, ask, what each of us really thinks is appropriate, not to give to an institution in which we have deep suspicion, but one that we believe would fundamentally use those dollars well to make a meaningful difference in the lives who are less fortunate or for the nation as a whole to grow and be strong. It really isn't about what's fair, at least on this tax issue. It really is about trust and the need to rebuild that trust wherever you stand what you think is fair and who should be paying it.